Hello everyone, I'm Tim, and today, after months of talking about Shotokan, let me get back to my own roots. I think it's time to make another Wadariyu video, don't you? Wadariyu is one of the four major styles of karate, and it's that hybrid martial art that combines elements of Okinawan karate, jiu-jitsu, and fencing. Here we go. Wadariyu, the harmonious way school, was founded by the legendary Hironori Otsuka with a mission to revolutionize the world of karate. Instead of relying solely on brute strength, Wadariyu emphasizes taisabaki, or body management, which involves using movement to dodge and redirect attacks with effortless grace. And let's be real, who wants to be all brawn and no brains? At the heart of Wadariyu lies the principle of harmony which is reflected in the very name of the style. This martial art has roots that stretch back to the late 19th century, when Otsuka began his training in Koryo Jiu-Jitsu and later studied Shindo Yoshinru Jiu-Jitsu. He also had the privilege of training under some of the biggest names in karate, including Gichin Funakoshi and Kenwa Mabuni. Not Itosu though, let's not suggest that. In 1938, Otsuka made the bold move of registering his style of karate under the name Shinshu Wadoryu Karate Jutitsu, which was later shortened to the catchy Wadoryu. The headquarters of Wadoryu was established in 1952 at the Meiji University Dojo in Tokyo, and since then it has spread to the four corners of the world, thanks to both Japanese and non-Japanese students of Otsuka. Wadoryu was now represented by three independently led organizations, Wadokai, Wadokokusai, and Wadoryu Karate Do Renmei. Despite its global reach, Wadaru has been influenced by a diverse range of martial arts and cultural backgrounds, making it a truly unique and harmonious blend of ancient and modern techniques. So buckle up, because you're in for a wild ride with Wadaru. The Karas of Wadaru are an important aspect of the style and provide practitioners with a comprehensive training in self-defense techniques. In his 1977 book, Otsuka originally declared only 9 official katas for the style, but he did teach other katas as well. The solo katas of Wadariyu's current curriculum include the 5 Pinan Kada, Kushanku, Naihanshi, Seishan, Shinto, Basai, Rohai, Niseishi, Jion, Jite and Wanshu. Each of these katas has its own unique techniques, movements and philosophies that practitioners must learn and master. Pinan Kada, also known as Heian Kada, was created by Uncle Itosu and consists of 5 forms. Pinan Shodan, which is often taught second, Pinan Nidan, which is often taught first, Pinan Sandan, Pinan Yonan, and Pinan Godan. Kushanku, which was named as Kankudai by Funakoshi, is according to legend an Okinawan name for Quan Shang Fu, an emissary for China in the 18th century, which lent many techniques to Pinan Kada. It's one of those longer Kada and it's very popular in tournaments. Nai Hanshi, originally named Teki, is a lateral Kada learn from Choki Motu. Wadariyu typically only practices the first Naihanshi Kata. Naihanshi was actually one of the first Katas I learned outside of the Pinan series and it holds a special place in my heart. This Kata emphasizes stability and balance and I can still remember feeling my body being rooted to the ground as I performed the movements for the very first time. It was a great foundation for my overall martial arts development. Seishan, renamed as Hangetsu by Funakoshi, is performed in sets of three and is characterized by pivots and turning of the head. The first part is slow and deliberate, while the second part is fast and dynamic. Chinto, renamed as Gankan by Funakoshi, was formulated by Matsumura Sokon from teachings of a sailor slash pirate named Chinto slash Anan, and is characterized by crane stance and flying kicks. Chinto is one of my favorite katas because of its dynamic movements and kicks. You can click here for a legend behind this kata. Basai, also known as Basai, also known as Basadai, etc. is a popular kata known for its dynamic stances and hip rotation. I do remember being intimidated by the dynamic Basai kata when I first started training in Wadariyu, but now it's one of my favorites. In fact, I chose it for my first and second downgrading. Rohai, renamed as Meikyo by Funakoshi, is a kata with three variations by Itosu and Wadariyu typically practices Rohai Shodan. Do not get this confused with Matsumura Rohai. Though technically the same principles are practiced, all Rohai iterations are quite different. Niseishi, meaning 24 steps, 
was transmitted by Ankiki Aragaki and is known in Japanese as Niju Shio. As for my opinion on this kata, I really like it. Chose it as my second kata for my second downgrading and it's also the kata I recommend to my students for their first downgrade. Jion, one of the so-called temple kata, can be described as a kata for advanced training of basic techniques. To be honest with you guys, I'm not too fond of this kata at the moment. But seeing as I need to perform it for my third downgrading, I guess I better start liking it real soon. Jitte, the other temple kata that is trained in Wadaryu, is a short yet pretty advanced kata. It means 10 hands, although you could theorize that you could beat 10 opponents when you know this kata, it might also just be the name reflects the kata's ground plan, which is the Japanese symbol for 10. Wanshu, meaning flying swallow, named after a series of movements just before a jump, is a tomari tail kata based on movements brought to Okinawa by a Chinese envoy in 1683. Did I mention these historical references are usually just according to legend? I have no way of proving any of them, outside of what Wikipedia tells me. In addition to the solo kalas, many of the Wadaryu schools also practice paired kalas, which reflect the style's jiu-jitsu heritage. These paired kalas are performed by two people, one as an attacker and one as a defender, and demonstrate a range of self-defense techniques. The paired kalas of Wadaryu often vary from one organization to another, as Otsuka did not standardize them. Some common paired katas include Yakusoku Kiyon Kumite, Kumite Gada, Oyo Kumite, Idori no Kada, Tanto Dori no Kada, and Shinkan Shirahadori. I have to add, we do not train these at the Kanyuchi at the moment, we might reintroduce them in the future, but for now they are absent in our curriculum. Yakusoku Kiyon Kumite is a set of 10 fundamental techniques against combination attacks influenced by Jujitsu body movements. Kumite Gada is a set of 10 to 24 techniques that emphasizes pinning and breaking balance and multiple strikes. Oyo Kumite is a set of various techniques that incorporate karate blocks, kicks and strikes with Jujitsu influence. It's a specialty of Tatsuo Suzuki Hanshi's WIKF organization. Idori no Kada is a set of 5 to 10 techniques of seated self-defense, influenced by Jiu-Jitsu. Tanto Dori no Kada is a set of 7 to 10 techniques of defenses against knife attacks, influenced by Jiu-Jitsu. Shinkan Shirahadori is a set of 5 to 10 techniques of defense against sword attacks, also influenced by Jiu-Jitsu. I have to add this. One of the reasons we do not train the defenses against sword attacks is I do not believe an unarmed fighter stands any chance against a sword-wielding one. Also. In my experience, the chances of coming across a sword-wielding assailant are slim. Other paired kadas include Yakunage Kada, Kada of Throwing, Joshi Goshinjutsu, Kada of Women's Self-Defense, and Kodokan Goshinjutsu, among others, but they are not commonly taught. In conclusion, the kadas of Wadaryu are like the spice of life for martial artists, providing a comprehensive training in self-defense techniques that will have you ready for any situation. Each kata is like a unique recipe with its own special ingredients, movements and philosophies that martial artists must master to become the ultimate martial arts chef. Whether cooking up solo katas or ripping up paired katas, Wadaryu practitioners are always striving to refine their skills and become the ultimate self-defense experts. And let's not forget about Wadaryu itself, the unique hybrid of Shin Yoshinji or Jiu Jitsu and Okinawan Karate that's all about body management and harmony. This style has a rich history with its founder Hironori Otsuka spreading the love all around the world and its students continuing to evolve to this day. It's a tasty treat for any martial arts enthusiast, offering a flavor you won't find anywhere else. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching.